bless you and may heaven continue to smile upon you we are so excited to be here back in your home again to share with you the word of God and uh, I'm so excited so let's pray we're gonna begin let's pray father God in the name of Jesus we thank you and we give you all of the glory and we give you all of the praise we we honor you we magnify you we lift you up. Our soul adores you. God, you are just so wonderful. Uh, you keep on doing great things for us. You keep on blessing us. You keep on opening doors for us. You keep shining your favor down upon our lives. And we thank you for that. And we give you glory for that in the name of Jesus. And we pray, God, as we go into your word, that you would give us revelation, you give us your knowledge, your understanding, and your wisdom. And we thank you for it now. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen and thank God. Listen, I'm excited uh, about what the Lord is uh, doing um, here in this city and in this ministry. God has been doing some marvelous things. He's been um, dealing with me uh, on some uh, personal levels along with spiritual levels. He's been um, dealing with me on some things in my personal life as well as the ministry and as well as my spiritual life. And I am so humble and so glad that I can hear God when He speaks and I can distinguish His voice from um, somebody else's voice. Amen. Um, so I'm excited. Uh, the Lord is doing some great and wonderful and mighty things um, in this ministry and uh, I'm allowing God to use me uh, as his vessel uh, to get his word across to the people of God. 
And I'm telling you, we are learning some things about God and about His Word. We've been teaching and we've been dealing with uh, our tithes and our offering, our giving, our supportive ministry. We've been dealing with um, uh, the promises of God, the Word of God. We've been dealing with uh, our faith. We've been dealing with uh, operating uh, in our faith and allowing our faith to uh, come alive in us. And so we're going to continue on that journey uh, until the Lord says different. So I want to talk today uh, out of the book of Matthew, 17th chapter. And I want to talk about our faith. I want to talk about our faith because I found this out. I found out that a lot of people of God, we, we have faith or we say we have faith uh, until it's put to the test. And then our faith suddenly leaves. Uh, it, 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 it dawned on me the other day how is it that we can have faith watch this now I want you to go with me faith in a God that we cannot see but yet we come to church we go to Bible study we worship we praise we pray, we read his word, we have faith to believe in him, but we don't have faith to believe he can do what his word said he can do. That, that, that just got me. It, it, it hit me like a ton of bricks. How we can come to church every uh, Sunday and every Bible study, every Wednesday or Thursday or whenever you have your Bible study night, and uh, revival services and we can come and we worship God and we we adore him we we lift him up and we believe in God but we cannot believe in his word uh, how can we believe in him and not believe his word the Bible says, and I'm going to keep saying it because I, I, I like this scripture. The Bible says that Abraham staggered not at unbelief. He staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief. Even considering the deadness of Sarah's womb, he staggered not. He believed that God spoke it and God will bring it to pass. Just imagine if the people of God today had that same faith that Abraham had and we stagger not at the promises of God through unbelief, but we believed what his word said. Oh, oh, we will be walking in prosperity. We will be walking in healing. We will be walking in all our, oh God, the favor of God will shine upon our lives like never before and we could just have that type of faith that we stagger not at his word. Matthew 17 verse 20. Listen what it says. He says, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing 
shall be impossible to you. If you have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, you can speak to this mountain and remove that mountain and nothing shall be impossible to you. Watch this. If we had faith, it's the grain of a mustard seed, I can stand toe to toe with my situation or my circumstance and I can speak directly to it and it has to move. Watch, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you another passage of scripture in Matthews. I believe it's in the 20th chapter. Go with me to the 20. Go with me to the 21st chapter of Matthews in that 21st verse. Watch what God says here. Watch what God says here. Hey, hey, oh, oh, we, we got to get this, people of God. Go with me to Matthews 21 and 20. Watch what, uh, 21 and 21. Watch what he says. He says, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if you have faith and doubt not, you shall not only do this which was done to the fig tree, but also ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and it shall be done. Matthew 17 and 20 says, Speak to the mountain, and be it move, remove it to yonder places. And he said, uh, Nothing shall be impossible. Matthew 21 and 21, he says, speak to the mountain and it shall be cast into the sea. And he said, it shall be done. See, we, 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 we got to stop uh, rebuking the devil. Rebuking the devil does nothing to the devil. All the thing rebuke does is give him time to step back, assess the situation again, and come again, this time harder and with more help. Rebuking all it does is it, 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 it hesitates him. It puts him in a hesitant position. But then in that hesitant position, he has time to look at the situation again and come harder. The Bible says resist the devil and he'll flee. How do you resist the enemy? You resist the enemy by speaking the word of God. So if I speak to my mountain of poverty and I believe it to be so, then that mountain of poverty has to be removed to yonder places. It has to go to the sea. It has to move because I'm speaking and I'm believing that when I speak to that mountain, it's got to go. I'm speaking to the mountain of sickness. I'm speaking to the mountain of diseases. I'm speaking to the mountain of uh, family disarray. I'm speaking to that mountain and I'm believing. I'm staggering not at the promises of God. But I believe that when I speak to that mountain, that mountain has to go. That mountain has to go. It has to go. It cannot stay. Because I'm speaking the word of God to that mountain. So that means that mountain has got to be removed. The Bible said so. The Bible said it. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible said and if I believe what I speak, then the mountain, poverty, sickness, disease, family, everything that I speak to this mountain has to move. It has to move. It has to go. You cannot, uh, that mountain cannot stay in a place 
where the word of God is being spoken and my faith is being alive. God has to move. If I speak it, if I believe it, God has to remove it. He said it in his word. He said, if I speak to it, nothing shall be impossible to me. Nothing shall be impossible to you if you speak to it with belief. You speak to the mountain. You got. We as people of God, have, we, we, we have to learn the word of God and the power and the effect that the word of God has in our life. It's not just a cliche. It's not just a book to read. This book has power. The words in this book has authority. It has power. And we as people of God got to learn how to operate in that. We cannot continue our walk with God and continue to live beneath our privilege. We cannot afford not to believe his word. I, I don't know. I, I, I I don't know. I, I just believe if God said it, I, I've been learning over the years, uh, over the last few years, I've been just speaking the word of God in conditions and God has just been moving. I've been learning how to walk in his authority that he's given me. I've been learning how to speak his word. I've been learning how to speak to the mountain and not doubting, but speak to it and let God do it. And God has showed himself. Listen, people of God, I, I, I got to come back to this. I wish we had more time. We got to come back to this. You need to meet me on Sunday mornings to get the full effect, to get the full effect of what we're teaching. Meet me on Sunday morning so you can get the full effect of what this teaching that God has given us to give to his people. Meet us right there on Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock so you can get the fullness of uh, what God is doing and what God is, 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 is doing in our lives because it's time to walk in it. Uh, uh, my next segment, I'll share with you what the Lord shared with me uh, a few Sundays ago what he shared with me about what's getting ready to take place uh, in the church. Not just this church, but in the church, in the body of Christ. I'll share with you what God shared with me uh, the next segment. So tune in to the next segment. Don't miss it. Listen, I want to pray. If you're watching this broadcast, uh, and you're enjoying it, and God is dealing with you, and you're getting something out of these messages, I want you to write us. I want you to call us. I want you to come visit us. Uh, and if you happen to just be passing the channels, and you stopped here, and you say, uh, that young man just said something that spoke to me. I want you to know that God is tugging on your spirit. He's calling you to come home. He's calling you to come to him. I want to pray with you. And I want you um, to be led to Christ. I want you to give your life. You're tired of living the way you're living. You want something different. Let me pray. Father God, repeat after me. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. I confess with my mouth, Lord, and I believe in my heart that you sent your son to die for my sins. And I want you to come in now and take control of my life. Be king of my soul, ruler of my heart. And God, I thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank God. That's all it takes. It don't take a lot of hooping and hollering and, and going all that. Just what you just prayed. If you prayed that prayer, 
you just gave your life to God. Um, um, and if you have backslidden and you wanted to reclaim yourself back to God, you just reclaimed yourself back to God. Um, so, listen, we want to share. In the next segment, I want to share with you some of the things that the Lord uh, has shared with me. Uh, over the last few Sundays, some things that God told me about the church. Uh, but we're going to still be dealing with faith uh, right now because I want to, I want the people of God, I want their faith to be activated so that you can speak it. And as soon as you speak it, God does it. God does it. He told the prophet, he said, before your words touch the ground, I'll perform it. So that's how I want the people of God's faith to be. I want you to speak it. And before it touches the ground, God has already done it. And, and, I'll, and, 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 and I'll share with you uh, next segment the things that God shared with me about speaking things um, and, and making them happen just that quick um, because God is getting us. He's setting us up to be blessed. He's setting us up uh, to receive. We just got to be ready. We got to be in that place when he begins to move so we can be up under the flow when he pours it out. Uh, and I'll share with you on the next segment uh, the things that God shared with me about the things that he's pouring out and what he's doing and what he's getting ready to do in the people of God, in the church as a whole. Uh, but we got to be ready to receive it. If we're not ready to receive it, we're going to miss it. And uh, so let's get ready to uh, get that and get ready to hear uh, from the Lord. Amen. So until then, uh, y'all know y'all can catch us at on Sunday mornings. Y'all can catch us uh, on Sunday mornings right here at uh, 2062 North Bend Road, right there on the corner of North Bend and Simpson Avenue in the little center right there. We'll be right there on Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock a.m. Come on over there and share uh, uh, with us in praise and worship of the Lord. Amen. Uh, so until the next time, may the Lord bless you. May heaven smile upon you is our prayers. And now let me pray real quick for the people of God that are watching. Uh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. We pray, God, that your word has went forth and we pray, God, that it has touched somebody. And we pray their deliverance in their homes, deliverance in their lives, deliverance in their family. We pray, God, for breakthroughs now. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, God. We give you glory. We know that you're able to do it. And we know that you will. And we glorify you now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And thank God. Listen, be on the lookout for us uh, on the next segment. We want to talk about, still talking about faith, still dealing with faith. And then I want to deal with uh, some things that God has showed me uh, or spoke to me about concerning uh, what he is getting ready to do in the church. Uh, uh, some things he's getting ready to bring back. He's getting ready to do it all over again. Amen. All right. So until the next time, uh, be on the lookout for the next broadcast. And we will be here. Uh, so may God bless you. May heaven smile upon you is our prayer. <laughs>